It is 7.08 in the morning. I'm on my way to Lincolnshire, to Cadwell Park for Suzuki Live. I've got the GX fully loaded, and I mean fully loaded. I'll show you in a minute when we stop for, stop for a coffee. But I've got a four hour ride ahead of me, 208 miles. It's going to be brilliant. Suzuki Live this year looks like it's going to be fantastic. I've got the tent, I'm camping tonight. There's going to be some entertainment tonight, a few beers. There's a lot of people there. Neve Z, Al Fagan, English biker Dan. We're going to have a, a right old chuckle this afternoon. So uh, if you're interested in Suzuki Live, I'm also going to be taking the GX on track. I've changed my tyres. We're going to have a little bit of fun on track with the GX. It's going to be brilliant. So if that sounds of interest, go have a cup of tea or maybe a coffee. It is only seven o'clock in the morning and I'll see you after the intro. Chopsy rolling. Coffee time. That is one loaded up motorcycle. I mean, it's sort of on there. Oh, no, uh, number two in the sausage roll. Three minutes to go, 1.4 miles. We've made it and I've dried out. It's been a bit of rain, I've dried it out, but we are here. Suzuki Live. So we've arrived, it's all kicking off, it's all kicking off. I'm gonna take the GX out, give it a few, few sessions on the GX. I wanna see what those tires are like, um, and then take some other bikes out and, and see how we get on. It's been um, two years since I've ridden Cadwell Park. Because I've turned up late, I've missed, I've missed the sighting laps and everything, so I'm gonna be straight out dry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's gonna be good fun. So I'm really interested to see how the GX handles. I know it's no M1000XR, but what's it going to be like on a little tight nadry track like Cadwell Park? Let's go find out. So here we are, Cadwell Park. Hello. We're going out. We're going out. I've got my, the DJI wireless microphone in my helmet. So it means I haven't got a helmet camera, but you've still got audio because I'm wireless micing it. So this is a bit of a track test for the wireless mic. So I've had one session around here on the GX and uh, yeah. I was, I thought I knew Cadwell Park, but I went out and then realised instantly, I don't know Cadwell Park. And I had a wobble round. Mossy was out on his V-Strom. <laughs> actually lapped me on the V-Strom. So that was embarrassing, but I was literally wobbling round. But here we go. The wheelie over the mountain. Yeehaw! Wait, my lines are terrible. I need to follow something round. He actually knows where to go around here because I don't come wide here. Still absolutely learning the lines around here.
fantastic. Much better on that one. I was much better. You're out, Dan. Hey, what are you coming out on? Uh, an 8R, I think. Oh, lovely. Oh, there's your beast. Could have, would have. <laughs> Clear track behind me. Can you think? Who needs an MXR? In the fast group <laughs> on the GX, it's not doing it too bad a job. Superb fun, absolutely superb. So that's the end of the day now, absolutely shattered. Must have done about five or six sessions just in the afternoon. I'm loving this poor thing. It said, it said the absolute guts thrashed out of it look at that look got some proper peelies going on here she's uh tires are great though that those sportsmark tts gave me loads of grip loads of grip not masses of feel still not masses of feel they just gripped but yeah i got faster and faster it's 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 very good I had the traction control off so i could get some nice little wheelies over the mountain it was brilliant but here is my accommodation for the evening I'm in the night cat. Massive thanks to everyone that came over and said hello, you know, nice to meet you, I love your videos. Met so many people here and it's been so nice. And everyone's like, where's your support truck? <laughs> I said, no, this is it, this is it. Just a little me and a tent. But uh, yeah, some entertainment tonight. I think Simon Hargreaves' band is here. So we've got the joys of Simon Hargreaves' band. I think he's, he plays bass or guitar, I'm not sure. But it's going to be some entertainment, it's going to be some alcohol. I need to get quite drunk because I think that's going to be extremely uncomfortable unless I'm very drunk. So uh, bring on the evening's entertainment. I'm looking forward to it. But there she is. Gorgeous bike.
I did freeze in last night. We have some right <laughs> legends, some right legends here. here he is. <laughs> <laughs> BJ, we've got English Mike Dan, we've got Fagan. So this is the GSX-8R. So like the GSX-8S, which Dan is on in front of me there, but with a fairing and different um, an upgraded suspension. Yeah, it feels, uh, feels very nice. I really should have cleaned my visor. It's absolutely filthy. Covered in bugs. This engine's so good. This uh, this 800cc parallel twin, such a superb parallel twin. There's so much grunt. Yeah, it may, it may lack a little bit of top end. But it's got a gorgeous amount of grunt. Ah, oh, someone's had an off this morning. That we got oil all down the. Oh, right into that. That's one of the best bends of the track. Oil over it. Are going to wheelie up here. I might have to turn the traction off so we can do some, uh, some wheelies for the crowd. Oh, it would come out lovely the <laughs> traction's on. And if I turn the traction off and bin it, <laughs> it won't be impressed with me. Oh, come on, baby! Oh, dear. The issue I'm going to have to do people on the on the corners and on the brakes. They're going to be able to get on the power early here. Faster than my GX. It feels so much lighter. This is a very, very good. Oh, that's the foot pegs now. That's going to be the problem with this bike. Foot peg clearance. They're a little bit tight. Brakes are really strong, really good brakes. And the chassis is. You wouldn't think just changing the forks and bolting a fairing on the AS. I know there's other tweaks. We'll try the AS in a minute, but this is surprisingly good. Surprisingly good. The brake feel. I'm always, I do criticise Suzuki and their brakes, but at the moment. Feels superb. No, oh, break it. Yeah, this chassis is very, very good. Oh, we can take this guy. We can take this guy. I'm sure we can. When we get to here, we've caught right up with him, and then they do me on the straight. How early? So the 8R and the 8S. The 8R is my preferred option on the track for sure. That slightly better quality suspension. Stands off. See you there, Dan. So if I had to choose. It would be an 8R for the track. I need to try it on the road, so, but I think 
you know, it seems really comfortable as well. So the 8R does actually look really, really impressive. Gonna go out again. <laughs> Straight out again. I'm gonna go take it steady this time. This is the novice group, so I'm just gonna ride appropriately for the novice group. So we've got Dan Sutherland from MCN and then Grace Webb in front. Grace is maybe quite a good rider, so it'll be interesting to uh, see how she does. Let's do it, let's do it Dan, let's do it. I've, only, I've just come in, so I'll probably do a couple of laps. So I'm mackered already. I'm not making excuses already or anything. <laughs> now I want to see plenty of big wheelies over the mountain. You better turn that TC off. Oh, Dan, straight in there. Oh, Daniel Sun. Put my nose in, put my nose in. Let me know there. Sorry buddy, I'm showing my nose as well. It's like a procession, parade lap. Need to get away from this group. Need to break this group. Come on Grace, let's go. There we go, Suzuki Live done for 2024. What a brilliant weekend. Absolutely superb weekend. It's about half two now. I've got that four and a half hour ride home, so the GX is loaded up. I'm really irritated because I took the booster out, but I forgot to press record on the camera. So I had a brilliant session, like overtaking loads of people. It's an absolute weapon. It wasn't even, you know, it's a big bike, but it wasn't too bad out there. I was really quite surprised. Probably the only bike I would have ridden where I didn't look too big on it. But I forgot to press record on the camera and I'm just too knackered to, to go out again. So I'm going to go home. It's half two. I've got that big ride. I've had to pack all the tent away. Pack all the tent away in my leathers. Oh, it's absolutely roasting it was. Load all the <laughs> luggage on the back of the bike. But that's it. We're done. We are off home. Thanks very much for watching. I hope it's uh, an entertaining video. And uh, if you like what you've seen, don't forget, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.